The thyroid is a small butterfly-shaped gland at the base of the throat. The throat chakra is represented by the color blue, and blue is the color of healing. The 25th of May 2022 is World Thyroid Day, and with over 200 million people globally suffering from thyroid problems and diseases, it can be of no surprise that it has a day dedicated all to itself. A problem thyroid can change a person's quality of life severely, depending on the type of thyroid illness. The more common thyroid diseases are Graves' disease, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, hypothyroidism, hypothyroidism, thyroid cancer and thyroid nodules. The hormones made by the thyroid gland and secreted throughout the body control body temperature, metabolism rate and growth which impact on digestion, stamina, weight, respiratory, reproduction, muscle development, blood circulation and feelings. The symptoms vary depending on the type of thyroid disease but all are considered as being autoimmune. Nodules on the thyroid can enlarge the gland and extend it with the appearance of a goiter making it uncomfortable and difficult to swallow. Graves' disease tends to make the thyroid overactive or hyper, with symptoms such as nervousness, irritability, poor concentration, reduced menstrual flow, racing heartbeat, intolerance to heat, changed bowel habits, thin skin, brittle hair and nails, increased appetite and sweating. An underactive thyroid or lack of thyroid also known as hypo, includes symptoms such as fatigue, weakness, intolerance to cold, muscle aches and cramps, constipation, weight gain, poor appetite, dry or rough skin, hair loss, especially the eyebrows, vocal changes, depression, increased cholesterol, dizziness, slow heart rate and brain fog, to name a few. What causes a thyroid to become imbalanced? Is it genetics, diet, stress, air pollution, abuse, lifestyle? With so many people worldwide now affected, we should say that all of them apply. Anyone going for treatment for an underactive or no thyroid in the UK will be given a blood test, which looks at a tiny part of what could and should be looked at for assessing a thyroid. Thyroxine is the standard drug issue with dosage depending on blood results. With so many different types of thyroid diseases, there are many aspects needed to be monitored and studied in thyroid blood tests in order to determine the correct dose of drug and indeed what drug to fit the patient's requirements for feeling well. It's no longer acceptable for practitioners in the UK to send patients away stating all your results are within range. When everyone is different and one size fits all certainly does not apply here. So little research and study has gone into these diseases that practitioners are at a loss in how to advise patients. A bright beacon of hope has now arrived in the form of the Thyroid Trust. They consist of patients and leading medics working closely together to raise awareness about thyroid diseases and they have had amazing success. Through their efforts, NHS England is now allowing the prescribing of liothyronine where thyroxine hasn't previously worked for patients. Up till now, there was no choice for many people who were living in a postcode lottery for drug funding. However, the manufacturers of liothyronine have now had massive fines imposed on them for causing the NHS and patients to miss out due to their overinflated prices and charges. There is no financial amount or price to pay when it comes to people's lives and their health. If you wish to read more about the thyroid, then please visit the website of the Thyroid Trust and consider donating to them so they can continue their great work. Links for their site for Thyroid UK and for Thyroid Federation International can be found below.